Spin. I'm a K-12 teaching assistant in Greenville, New York. Today, I'm going to show you how to insert images into a Google form. So the first thing I like to do is go to my Google Drive. And I like to create my forms inside of a folder to keep them organized. I'm going to click the New button. I'm going to scroll down to More and click Google Forms. First step I do is I like to give it a title. So I'm going to click this area. I'm going to click Emotions. Now I'm going to click down here. That brings the title into the form. But I want to add a word before the title. So I'm going to click and add it and then click over into the background. This makes this title a little bit different than the title that I have up in the corner. Now I'm going to click the untitled question. By default, it gives me multiple choice question. I'm going to say, how does this person fail? Now, as you noticed, I can click this image icon. And this is where I would add my images. It gives me the choice of upload, take a snapshot, by URL, your Google photo album from your Google Drive or do a search. I'm going to do a search. And I'm going to do search for, oops, sad person. I'm going to click this one. It gives me a check mark and a blue box, which means I can click the select button. And that will insert the image. As you notice, if there is a three vertical dots, which is usually the settings icon. If I click on that, this will allow me to left align, center align, right align, change the image or remove it or add a caption. For today, I am going to center the image. However, I think this image is a little big, so I'm going to click it until I get a blue box. I'm going to go to one of the corners, hold down and drag to make it smaller. Now I want to put an, an image in my answer. One thing you need to note is you can do images and answers for multiple choice. And let me click this drop down arrow to get more questions up. And you can also do it for checkbox questions. All other questions, you can only put the image in the question area. I think I'll do check boxes. Now I'm going to go over to where it says option one, and I'm going to type an answer of happy. Now I'm going to go and add image by clicking the add image icon. I'm going to do a search. And this time I'm going to do it for happy emoticons. I'm going to select one of the happy ones. It gives me a blue box and a check mark, and I click the select blue button, which will insert the image with that answer. I want to put one more answer in, so I'm going to click here. It gives me option two, and I'm going to put the word sad, and again repeat by clicking the add image icon, go search, and this time I'm going to search sad emoticons. I'm going to pick a sad one and insert it. Now I want to preview my form, so I go up to this eyeball, which is the preview. Now I can preview my form. This is especially helpful to insert images um, for the visual learner or a student who may have a problem comprehending words. It will help support them in finding the right answer. 